Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the distributive property to um, just show you how I can rewrite this. Now there's a different way to um, teach you how to rewrite this problem, but I'm just gonna apply the distributive property um, to rewrite this so you can see there's different ways to represent this because a lot of times when you're gonna be simplifying expressions or equations or solving, it's gonna come very important for you to understand that this can be rewritten in a different form and I'll show you how and why. So first of all, we know that the distributive property, right, a times b plus c can be re represented as a times b plus a times c. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna say, can I rewrite this so it is being, um, it looks like in the form of uh, the distributive property? Well, you could say, well, here there's no parentheses, right? So how can I rewrite this as a parenthesis? Well, what I'm doing right now is I am, taking 22 minus 2n and I'm dividing it all by two. So one thing I could kind of write, and I was looking, think about this, you could take these two and say, in parentheses, I'm dividing both of those by two. Well, another way to think of dividing by two is to multiply by, then hear you, multiply by one half. Thank you. So I multiply by one half, so I have 22 minus 2n, times one half. Now I can apply the distributive property, which tells me I'm gonna multiply my one half times both of them. So it's 22 divided by two minus two n divided by two. So you can see what I did is that's the reason why we can take a fraction like this and split it up to look like this. Then I can see, all right, can I simplify this? And yeah, you actually can. 22 divided by two is 11 minus two n divided by two is n. So actually, this can be rewritten in the simplest form of 11 minus n. Isn't that cool? I knew it would.